welcome back to my channel. So today I am doing this yellow summer inspired glitter cut crease tutorial. Recently got my hands on some of the vivid liners from NYX and I saw the yellow one and I was thinking why not do something a little bit different and this hot weather has got me feeling really inspired to do something kind of summer inspired. So I really hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. Give it a thumbs up if you did and yeah if you like the look of this makeup look then please keep watching. We're going to go ahead and do our eyes first, so I'm already primed in them and then I'm going in with a chickadee eyeshadow from Makeup Geek and a big fluffy brush and just concentrating this kind of above my crease. As like I said, this is going to be a cut crease tutorial so all the eyeshadows kind of want to stay above that for now. Then I'm going in with, I think this is Desert Sands from Makeup Geek also, these are all going to be Makeup Geek eyeshadows and I've linked them down below. Going in with a slightly smaller crease brush and then back in with our big fluffy crease brush just just to diffuse the eyeshadows together and make sure everything is really blended. This one is called Preppy and I'm using an even smaller crease brush. You guys can see what I'm doing. I'm just gradually defining the crease more and more to create that kind of cut crease look. Mixing these two foiled eyeshadows together, these are Fortune Teller and Untamed. I'm just using a really small shader brush and using this to cut the crease out. I find it easier to kind of drag my skin at the side as you can see, just so the product goes on a lot smoother and I can be a lot more precise with it. Then I'm going in with MAC Reflex Gold and making sure I'm getting it super damp with MAC Fix Plus so it has some ad adhesivity <laughs> to it and just kind of packing it on because we want this to be super glittery and super summery and yeah, this is also kind of really appropriate for festivals as well so we want it to really stand out. And then I'm going in with Mocha Eyeshadow on a angled brush and I'm just using this to cut the crease out just so I kind of know where I want my liner to go and so we have a bit more of a darker shadow to kind of really really define the crease and just kind of dragging it upwards so it's all blended together and I'm then taking a small fluffy brush and just making sure yeah everything is really softly blended out and diffused because we don't want any harsh lines with the eyeshadow because that's what we're going to use this for and this is the NYX Vivid Liner in Vivid Halo. This is kind of what inspired me to do this look. I saw it and I just kind of thought I've not done anything with yellow or gold in ages so yeah I'm using this to create that cut crease look. I find it much easier to look down while doing this so it doesn't smudge and then just kind of customing customizing it how you want it. I have to do it slightly thicker because I have slightly hooded eyes so if I want it to show it needs to be slightly thicker line as you can see but yeah just do it to whatever suits your eye shape and looking down makes it a lot easier and then I'm going back in with the mocha eyeshadow just on the top just to really cut the crease out and define it and then again going in with the lid shades and just tidying everything up. Then I am creating a wing using my NYC black liquid liner like so and cleaning up any excess from underneath. Then using my favorite eyelashes from Velour, they're the What The Fluff style. And I do have a discount code which is Rachel Leary and you can save money off their website with them. Now onto the skin, I'm using this This Works Transit Primer. It's like a mask, moisturizer and a primer in one and it's the first time I was using this and I was actually really impressed with it. It really made my makeup last all day. And yeah, I'm just buffing that into my skin using my Real Techniques Multitask Face Brush. Using an old favorite, I'm using MAC Studio Fix. I'm not sure on the shade, but I will have listed it down below and just buffing that in to the skin using my Real Techniques buffing brush. And then I'm mixing these two NARS concealers together, one in the shade Custard and one in the shade Chantilly. Custard is more to kind of my natural skin tone and Chantilly is their palest one, so I use that to highlight with, as you can see. And then I'm just blending that all into my skin using a damp beauty blender. Once that is all blended in, I'm going to set it in place with my RCMA No Color Powder. And then these are the products I use for my brows. Let me know if you guys want an updated brow tutorial. I've listed them all down below. Then I'm going back in with that Desert Sands color and just running that along my lower lash line and applying a bottom lash mascara. You have to ignore my eyes. I had my fan on and it was giving me the worst watery eyes. So my eyes look really bloodshot. So ignore that, please. But yeah, just applying some bottom lash mascara. And then that is the finished eye look. 
Back onto the skin, I'm using this MAC Mineralize Skin Finish in Dark Golden to lightly bronze all over my skin. You guys know the drill and I've been really loving using a duo fiber brush to do this. I think it blends it so, so nicely into the skin, especially once you've set your whole face with that no color powder. I'm in love with doing this. And then I'm just contouring it using the Bahama Mama Bronzer by The Balm and a small fluffy brush. I'm pretty sure this is the Sigma E40. And again, I do have a discount code with Sigma, which I always leave in the description bar down below. For blusher, I'm using this Strictly Chic Ombre Blusher from NYX. I love this one. It's such a gorgeous peachy undertone, so I thought it tied in really nicely as we're sticking to quite warm shades. And then using this, I think it's like a Strobe Genius palette or strobe of genius palette from NYX as well on a Morphe brush and using this to highlight with. I hadn't seen this palette before and I'm obsessed. It is one of my new favorite things to highlight with and then for the lips I'm using this NYX Rosa Brown lip liner myth from MAC and then this glitter gloss from Sleek and this is the finished makeup look. I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Like I said give it a thumbs up if you did and subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys!